Installing the optional float valve is really simple. You have a lot of options. We're brewers, we like to come up with different options. The easiest that I think is to just use one of your plastic pails that you probably got when you started brewing. Uh, especially if it has one of these smaller stems that comes pre-drilled with a grommet in there. Take the grommet out, take the float valve and remove the hex nut and the inline, and you're going to remove the larger hex nut. Leave the washer in place, and we're going to simply put it through the hole. Remember, you're putting this in the inside of the lid. We want this angled in. The water in the bucket is going to raise until it causes this float valve to become horizontal, and it cuts off flow, which will then back up the system and stop just as if you turned off the faucet. We're gonna put this hex nut back on over the plastic, and you wanna be careful, this is going onto plastic, so don't overthread it. The water line is going to stop before it reaches to the top, so this does not have to be a watertight seal. We'll take the blue line, your clean RO water, we're gonna put the hex nut facing out, and then we're gonna take this brass valve lock, and slide it over, and then we're simply going to place it, push it down in, and then lock it down. Once we've pressurized for five minutes, let it drain, then we can move this over here, press the lid down. I like to leave it in the sink just in case overnight there is any leaks, it's just gonna go down the drain instead of all over my floor. And when we wake up in the morning, we will have six and a half gallons, five gallons, however many gallons your bucket allows you to take, minus the clearance for this, already collected and ready to go.